and this is video 7.1 of Qt on Desktop, which covers packaging on Windows. In this video, we're going to cover building for release, building an installer, and lastly, how to install and uninstall our package. So the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and make a release build. So we need to actually open up our colors.pro file, and then we're going to go down to this project thing right here, and we're going to change from a debug into a release build. I'll give that a second to work through what that means. And then when the icon comes back, we'll go ahead and click the build project. Now, if we go to our project tab, we can actually see the directory that we've got. So we'll go ahead and we're going to change into this directory. And we need to change into the release directory as well. Now we need to run when deployed QT on our .pro file as soon as it's done building. So it's still compiling. So we need to run when deploy QT command on colors.exe. So let's go ahead and do that now. So this is going to go ahead and create some of the background files that we need. Now I've got when deploy QT linked in my path environmental variable, but you might not. So you might have to run this from the actual source. So for example, when deploy QT for me is located in the C drive QT, QT 5.10, 5.10. MinGW32, bin directory, when deploy QT. So it'll depend where you actually installed QT on your directory, but you'll need to go find it and go ahead and run that so it can create some of the folders and files that we need. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and make our installer. So we'll go to Visual Studio and we need to make a new project. Now, what we need to do is actually do a new uh, Visual Studio installer. So it should be located in the installed, other project types, Visual Studio installer. If not, you'll need to run the install Visual Studio installer.bat and install this into your local computer to do that. And we'll go ahead and change the name. So we'll go ahead and change this to be colors. Awesome. So we need to go ahead and dump all the files that we just created into this directory. So let's go ahead and do that now. And basically we need to grab everything except for the object files, which are .ovs and the actual mocks. So we need to grab everything other than that. And then we'll just drag it into our application folder. Awesome. So the last thing that we want to do is go ahead and make a shortcut on our user desktop. So we'll right click on colors.exe. We'll create a shortcut and then we'll drag that over to the user's desktop. And then we'll go ahead and change this name to be colors. The last thing that can be helpful is change some of the default names for our product deployment. So I'm going to change the author and the manufacturer. So I changed the author to be my name and the manufacturer to be the course name. With that, we need to change from debug to release, and then we'll go ahead and build this solution. Awesome, so once we get the build succeeds, we'll go ahead and change into that repo, go into the release, and then we'll go ahead and run our installer. Perfect, so now if we minimize everything, we should see the shortcut on our desktop. And if we run that, we can see that we successfully installed this program and we can run and change colors as we need. So let's go ahead and uninstall it now. So if we click the installer one more time and we select remove colors, we'll have successfully uninstalled it. So with that, we've successfully learned how to install and uninstall our project, built a Windows installer, and also built a Qt project ready for release.